There are many Christians who go vote, but they don't take the time to do so on the basis of what Scripture says a leader should be promoting. You know, instead of taking time to examine policy initiatives or issues on the basis of what the Word says and then voting for the person that's most closely aligned, you know, a lot of times Christians, if they get out of their easy chair and go vote, they just go vote for the guy that's got the best personality. Or they go vote for the guy that's a member of the, the party that their parents have been members of for 50 years. Or they go vote for a guy because of his color. And I'm not talking about African Americans just voting for President Obama because he's an African American. I'm talking about Caucasians not voting for him because of his color. It cuts both ways. These are not reasons anybody should vote for anybody else. According to the Word, we're all equal in Christ. You know, cultural heritage should have nothing to do with it. Party affiliation, single issues that happen to be a hot button for you, none of these are reasons to vote for somebody. So if you do get out of your easy chair and go vote, you have to at least be responsible enough to know what the Scripture says about basic issues and vote for the one that is most aligned with the correct issue. 